What it is, what's up you guys? I know it's been a minute. I've been going through it, girl, but I'm trying to make a comeback today. I'm trying to be outside. We're going thrifting. Ah! I'm in this, like, era of my life where I just want to, like, refresh everything. I just want, like, new everything. Like, out with the old and with the new. You know what I'm talking about? We're going to go to a bunch of Brooklyn thrift. Just like how we used to do it back in the old days. I really want to shop for, like, fall, winter stuff. So, I'm going to get some fire shit. What? I'll come in. Yeah. You want to be in the vlog? How's everybody doing? Kenny's also here. He's getting ready. I want to show you guys my outfit really, really quick. Outfit of the day. This is the outfit for today. Period. It's kind of gloomy outside. This hat I got on Amazon. It's a little fuzzy hat. And this shirt. So it says a little bit dramatic. And I got this from Fashion Nova. It was like a baby seat. And I just cut like the little v-neck into it. And then I tied it up in the back. And I feel like that way it's like way more flattering. This skirt is from Cider. It's just like a long plaid skirt. But I added like little safety pins in it. Just to give it more like volume and like texture I guess. I don't know. My little belt. If y'all been following me for a long time. I've had this forever. It's like an Echo Unlimited belt that I thrifted like years ago it's cute it jingles then this bag i thrifted but i'm pretty sure i've seen these on amazon i hate when that happens <laughs> i was like oh i found a cool like unique thrift find no bitch this shit off amazon and i just added little charms to it so cute so cute for the shoes these are sambas that i actually customized i went to like an adidas event and they had all the shit there so this is what they look like up close it has like a bunch of little charms and chains and stuff like that i think it's cute because it goes with like the pink on my shirt do you want to show your outfit yeah let's do okay. it okay kenny wants to do a fit check Where you got the i'm afraid of women <laughs> shirt because i'm terrified of women why are you afraid of us women we're scared are, of y'all women are scary i got an a on for shorter shirt under i got the stolen art i got my grill it say ken on it c-k-e-n for the pants some balenciagas very comfortable but the mat heavy the shoes i got my off-white uh one got my coca-cola socks on they got a polar bear on them you cannot like pick a fit, fit yesterday I couldn't make up a fit, so let me know if this is okay. I guys. think it looks nice. All right, you ready? Let's go. Let's do it. We outside. Fly, guys. Outside. I was in awe and showing a man. Asking advice, how can I see you? We're at the first location. This is what it looks like. It's called Domsey. Domsey Express. And I hear a lot of good things about it. I hear the prices are good, but I feel like I've been here before and it wasn't that good. Let's see. They got the McDonald's floor. Yeah. That's a McDonald's tile. Oh, I see a Justin Bieber t-shirt. I guess let's grab a cart. Help. <laughs> I have no strength. I haven't eaten anything today. I'm withering away. I'm a dust particle. I see some Steve Madden like wedges. Yo, the lighting is so bad in here. This does look like an old McDonald's. So where do you yeah. yeah I'll pull it off a lot like that. In the shoe section, I did find these Tory Burch like little wedges and they were $15, which I don't think is bad. And then I found these DKNY little like boots and they're only six and they're like brand new. Like, huh? That's kind of fire. It also is kind of grainy ish. Uh, you gotta put the right fit on it though. It should say 125. <gasps> oh, so it's real fur probably. Ew, what's it? Ew, it's crunchy. There's some cute. Hey, catch this. Oh, my bad. There's some cute ones, but. I mean, it's not like a huge selection here, though. Hell no. Nah. Yeah. Hell no. Nah. Should chat, chat, live. Excuse me, can I get your number before I get out of here? I don't know what to do, chat. I'm struggling right now. Who's that? The men's section looks ass. Let's go. Stephanie left. What? She missing out. You know when people are like, oh, when you see these two in the thrift, just turn around, bro. Like, <laughs> I feel like that's Yo, freaking the thrifters that take everything, they're always in here with wired headphones. They don't believe in AirPods. Wired headphones, jersey, like football jerseys. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And baggy like, jeans. Baggy jeans. And most of the time, Tim's. Yup. I, I knew you were going to say the same thing, too. Most of the time, they'd be wearing Tim's. Yeah, all the good shit gone. First thrift was a fail. We left with nothing. On to the next spot. We're outside taking pictures. Kenny's about to hang from this shit right here, so I want to vlog it.
We got hungry, so we're gonna take a small little break and get some food, cause bitch, I'm starving. I didn't even get to take my pictures yet, and like, I like to take pictures before I eat, so I'm not like bloated, but oh well, bitch, I'm starving. We're stopping in this deli that Kenny found on TikTok. Oh. No way. They're a little bit closed. So we decided on this cute little restaurant called Dino. It looks so pretty. Food is here. We're at this cute little restaurant. I got a chicken parm and then garlic bread. And Kenny got gnocchi. Oh, and I got a ginger ale. I always get ginger ale with everything. Okay, y'all, so I'm a food reviewer now, so let's get into it. Of course, I have to get a pic for the stories real quick, but I'm not going yai. This meal was so mid. Def needed some salt. Def needed some more seasoning. The restaurant was cute, but the food was, like, not that good, in my opinion. But, yes, I did eat the whole thing. All right, we finished eating. My stomach no longer on flat, flat. I still want to take pictures, though. I don't care. Oh, this looks pretty. We just found this, like, cute little store. Maybe I'll take pics here. It's like, the picture was out, like, at David Puffin. We were spilling tea, so I had to mute it real quick. But we're at the next spot. I heard they sell vintage by the pound here, so I wanted to see if the prices were good. But right off the bat, it looked interesting, but I could tell it wasn't my vibe in here. Y'all know I'm a white 2K girly, and this was not given that. It was given, like, vintage RT vibes. I don't know. <laughs> we're in the jeans. And tell me why we found these True Religion jeans. And they're pretty cute, but first of all, they're humongous. And second of all, they're $200. Like, please. I had to take my hat off because it was hot. But I guess some things are by the pound and some things are just like set prices, like the jeans. Ooh. Bro, I don't know where all the good thrifts be at because like girls just giving like granny stuff. So Kenny's looking for a girlfriend. Don't I'm be shy. I'm looking for a girlfriend. Don't be I need... shy. Any applicants, literally anybody. Wait, what's your type? Tell them. My type. I feel like I don't got a type. Like every guy says that. No, cause like you can be like complete polar opposite from like one another. That's kind of true. I feel like I'm more like into the vibe than anything. Like I'm more. Okay, into the so vibe. describe the vibe you're going for. I don't know though. That's the problem. Oh like, my god. You, some, <laughs> you know, some of those vibes you can't describe. Like it just you got to. She gotta, she gotta be like genuine. Yeah, like, like nah, like funny. Y'all, y'all just gotta mesh, bro. Like you know what I mean? It's like one of those things. But what do you mesh guy. with? I mess with people that are engaging. Oh, Please, like, I, I'm, I, I can only get down if it's like open. Like, I hate feeling like I'm carrying everything. I remember I went out with this one gal, mm -hmm. and she was so dry, and I feel like I carried every convo. So like, you want someone like outgoing then? I guess. Like bro. talkative. I was like, why did I go out with this refrigerator, bro? I was. Tight. I know people be so boring. Sometimes yeah, I'm like, hello. Bro. And it's like Does no way this long life? in your life being being, being this, this boring. boring. Like, I'm like, do damn, you, do you don't even know how to hold a conversation, bitch. That's how I be feeling, bro. too. You don't want to tell them that they're boring, but you're like, how are you not seeing this? Like, I'd be boring. wanting to shake them. Like, hello? <laughs> Is anyone home? And he's looking for a new boot. I'm then. looking for a little lady for the fall. Me and Kenny are both single. Submit, so. submit your uh, Submit girlfriend applications. Submit boyfriend applications. <laughs> yeah. If y'all know anybody, Yo. it's like, no. I'm trying to stay single, but it's going to be like the baddies auditions. The <laughs> and bitches are gonna start fighting in the line. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, anyways, sidetracked, but we're on to the next spot. Oh, yeah. We're still in Williamsburg. We're at the next spot. It's called Attic. I feel like I've been here before. Oh, it's cute though. Very cute. Hi. Yeah, this looks fun in here. We got popsicles. Yay. We gotta make sure we pay for this. I did find a few cute things in the store, but nothing actually like worth buying in my opinion. Plus, I felt like the prices in here were also high. And I know vintage in general is like super pricey now, so I really shouldn't complain about prices, but IDK. I guess if the piece is super rare and in good condition, it's worth it. But that low-key was not the vibes in here. Also, if you hear my roommate screaming, sorry, he's a gamer, so don't mind him. It did have the cutesy Y2K vibes that I live for, so maybe I just wasn't having good luck this day. I don't know. But everything was color coordinated. I did find this little Hello Kitty long sleeve and I thought that would be perfect for fall But I didn't end up picking it up and they had some sunglasses that I tried on that were giving secret service vibes But they were $60 each. They also had some cute handmade accessories and jewelry I really liked how they displayed it on this like fake grassy layout I thought that was pretty cool All the pieces look really unique and handmade and they have more glasses over here and charm necklaces and bracelets I like this one with a little clock on it. They also had some cool belt buckles. I think this one was d-squared and the denim 
mine was priced pretty fairly i think but i barely buy jeans for real i kind of hate jeans i found these custom corset lingerie kind of tops and they also look super unique and one of a kind handmade period i also thought it was really cool that they had like local small brands being sold here and included all their handles all over the store so yeah for sure i would definitely come again Okay guys, so we left the last spot and I actually really liked it. Still like obviously like that curated vintage type of pricing. It was this one little purse. Oh, I think I, I vlogged it. And it literally had like little doo-doo stains on it and it was so small and they, they were charging $35 for it. I'm like, mm, this shit should be literally $3. Like the aesthetic was cute. It was a little bit more Y2K-ish than the other ones. So I had fun in there and we had popsicles and they didn't even charge us. I'm gonna lie, we ran out by accident and then i was like oh shit we didn't pay for the pop school so we turned back and he was like no you're good you're good i was like ah he's so sweet now we're going to second street and second street is really really fun to window shop in hopefully hopefully i can find something for fashion week i can find something for this vlog at least so i can show you guys something i don't really shop as much as i used to you guys if you guys remember like in my older thrift videos i used to like buy hella hella shit like buy like the garbage bags full and that's because i was selling a lot of vintage on depop and on my website and things like that yeah i don't really do that too much anymore i kind of just try to buy stuff that i'm really really in love with just to like minimize like waste and like you know minimize like shopping and stuff like that so I just really really try to focus on like buying stuff that I'm 100% in love with that I need in my wardrobe that's gonna add to my wardrobe that way I don't have to like constantly constantly be like getting rid of shit from my closet if you see me being like a little bit more picky in my vlogs now than I was back then that's why hopefully I find something at second street that I really really fall in love with because I want to buy something like ugh, my clothes are so and now like okay period getty we're at second street yay we haven't been here in like since the opening right Hello. This is so cute. Kenny likes these boots, the Brad Stall boots. I think this bag is cute. It's fuzzy. Yay! The outfits always eat here. So cute. So if you guys have never heard of Second Street, it's more of a higher end secondhand shop where you can find like designer and brand names for the low. And it's also a bit more on the streetwear, like focused end. So you can find some really cool shit in here. They had some big brands like Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Prada, Mugler, <gasps> YSL, Givenchy. But then they have a whole section of just like thrift type of clothes to look through. I think the store Def has the best selection and the most variety to choose from and the most variety in like price points. So they also separate everything by brand name, which is cool. I always discover cool new brands that I've never heard of here. And they also have a mix of vintage, newer designers and different brands. I did find some Dolce & Gabbana stuff. Then I found some like Heaven by Marc Jacobs stuff. So you really never know what you're gonna find here, but I would say the prices are pretty fair for what it is, not gonna lie. Like, I kind of like this skirt, Kenny. What you think? It's metallic. These go crazy. Oh, they're an eight. But they're $12. That would eat with this skirt. There was a little Y2K section in there. So, you know, I had to check that out. And it was kind of all over the place. Not very cutesy. But there was this Dolce & Gabbana top. That was okay. It said, suddenly this summer. Like, what does that even mean? And that was $159. So, yeah, it was just, like, random stuff in here. I found more Dolce & Gabbana jeans. I found some Roberto Cavalli, which I really liked. And $59 was not bad at all. But, sadly, this juicy ass cannot fit these. I also found this Lil Evisu jeans. Oh, my God, my roommate is screaming. I also found these Lil Evisu jeans for $129. And then these adorable Juicy Couture pants. It's giving, like, Cheetah Girl vibes. And they were only $33. I thought that was kind of crazy. I found an Avery. Bricks. Is that how you say it? I don't know. And a Gucci jacket. And I've been wanting a Pele Pele. Is that how you say it? I used to say Pel Pel, but I think that's wrong. But I wanted that jacket, but this one's pretty similar. It also has some cute Dolce Gabbana wedges for 109 but once again, not my size. What do you think of this, Kenny? Yeah, it's cool. I think it's cool. And it looks like it will fit me. It looks small. I kind of wish it was a different color, but I also don't hate it. Those are 
Stop, that's so cute. The sleeves are kind of short. I mean, that's like your size though. What do you mean? But is it a need? I wouldn't say it's a need. I don't know. I think I got an out of the varsity jacket. Look how little the arms look. <laughs> they really don't look small, to be honest. My wrists are really cold. Yes, sir. Fly guy. Okay, guys. So, it's officially getting dark out. But I bought literally one thing, which was this mini skirt. And I just thought, like, the fabric was really cool. It kind of reminds me of, like, Margiela, even though it's not. If I wear it the right way i could definitely pull this off for fashion week maybe stay tuned but yeah it's getting dark out so i think we're gonna call it a day and kenny got some really fire pigs i got some fire pigs My and phone died. yeah his phone died <laughs> we're both fried phone died i got shit in my eye <laughs> now we're going home to cry <laughs> we're gonna be that guy we're that guy so yeah but i mean was it a successful day eh, maybe not but it was fun we had fun we took pics we ate hella food and yeah it was a vibe so now we're gonna go home as per usual yay i love you guys thank you for watching and yeah period check my instagram for the pics and check his instagram for his pics and i love you